Hi friends, today we shall be discussing another very simple and popular sorting algorithm called selection sort. Selection sort also called exchange sort is one of the simplest internal sorting algorithms. As its names suggest, selection sort works by selecting elements in specific order and putting them in proper position in the final list. Selection sort is an in place sorting algorithm which requires no extra space to swap. Similar to other elementary sorting methods, selection sort runs at order n scale complexity making it inefficient on huge lists. But there are certain situations where selection sort has performance advantages over more complicated algorithms, particularly where auxiliary memory is limited. Before we explain the algorithm, we take an example of cards and see how they will manually be arranged. Consider the 7 cards shown in slide. If we have to manually organize them one by one, then one of the methodology could be look for the smallest card and remove it from there and put it in the ordered set. Again find the minimum card from the remaining 6 cards and remove it and add at the end of the existing card in the ordered set. Repeat this process till all the cards have been removed from original set and placed in the ordered set. A slight adjustment to this manual approach does away with the need for a second list. As we remove a card from the original list, a free space is created. Instead of moving the value to the second list, we exchange it with the value currently in the position where the smallest found element should go. The modified methodology is as follow. Find the card with the minimum value, exchange it with first unsorted card. From the remaining unsorted cards, find the card with the minimum value. Again exchange it with first unsorted item. Continue this process till all the cards from unsorted list have been processed. We illustrate this with a very nice animation provided by Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University. This is exactly how selection sort works. The algorithm starts by selecting the minimum of all the elements and allocates this element to the first position. Then it does the same with remaining n-1 elements, selecting the minimum of them and allocating it to the second position. At any iteration i, the first i-1 elements are already ordered. 
and the algorithm looks for the minimum among the remaining n minus i plus 1 elements and allocates it to the ith position. As we can see at any time the list is divided into two parts sorted and unsorted. At the beginning sorted part is empty while unsorted one contains whole list. At every step algorithm finds minimal element in the unsorted part and adds it to the end of the sorted one. When unsorted part becomes empty the algorithm stops. The steps of selection sort are first find the lowest value in the list swap it with the first item in the list. Second step starting at the second element in the list determine the lowest value in the rest of the list swap it with the second element. Third step start at third item find the lowest value again in the remaining part of the list and swap it with the third item in the list. Fourth repeat this process n minus 1 times till you compare only the last two elements in the list. We can also state the algorithm as follows. First set i is equal to 0. Second start at position i and search for the smallest element in the array. Third swap the smallest element with the 1 on position i. Fourth set i is equal to i plus 1 and fifth step is continue on step 2 until i equals n minus 1. We explain this algorithm with an example. Consider an array of 5 elements with values 98, 23, 45, 6 and 14. In the first pass to find the smallest value in the 5 elements the algorithm makes 4 comparisons 98, 23, 23 with 45, 23 with 6 and 6 with 14. After these comparisons it finds that 6 is the smallest number. So, it swaps this number with 98 and the array at the end of first pass is 6, 23, 45, 98 and 14. Total 4 comparisons and 1 swap is made in the first pass. The second pass will find smallest element in the next 4 elements and makes 3 comparisons 23 with 45, 23 with 98 and 23 with 14 and finds 14 to be smallest and it is swapped with 23 the number at second place. The array at end of second pass is 6, 14, 45, 98 and 23. Total 3 comparisons and 1 swap is made in the second pass. In the third pass 2 comparisons are needed to determine that 23 is the smallest number in the unsorted section. After these comparisons the algorithm swaps 23 with 45. In this pass 2 1 swap is made the array at the end of this pass is 6, 14, 23, 98 and 45. In the fourth and last pass we only need a single comparison to find the smaller of the two remaining elements in unsorted section 98 and 45. As 45 is smaller of the two so it is swapped with 98 and the final array is 6, 14, 23, 45 and 98. The list of numbers is sorted and selection sort algorithm is now complete. As can be seen there have been total 10 comparisons and 4 swaps made by the algorithm. Now we look how the algorithm performs if the array is already sorted. Consider an array containing 6 values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in ascending order. In the first pass to find the smallest value in the 6 elements the algorithm makes 5 comparisons 0 with 1, 0 with 2, 0 with 3, 0 with 4 and 0 with 5 and finds value 0 which is present at the first place is smallest value. So, no swap takes place but 5 comparisons are made. In the second pass to find the smallest value in the next 5 elements the algorithm makes 4 comparisons 1 with 2, 1 with 3, 1 with 4 and 1 with 5 and finds value 1 
which is present at first place in the remaining elements in the unsorted position is smallest. So, no swap takes place, but four comparisons are made. Similarly, in third pass, three comparisons are made 2 with 3, 2 with 4, and 2 with 5, and finds value 2, which is present at third place, is smallest value, and so no swap takes place. Similarly, in third and fourth pass, two and one comparisons are made respectively and no swap takes place as elements are already in place. So, one thing to note is that even in best case, when array is already sorted, the number of comparisons remains same as in any other case, but the number of swaps are zero. Before we proceed further, we see a 3D animation of selection sort uploaded by Boganzo team from Italy. The code in C for selection sort is as follows. As we can see, we compare the number in index i with the rest of the elements at indices higher than i to find the index of smallest element. Next, we swap the element at smallest index with element at index i. If they are same, then no need to swap performance. Selection sort is about 60 percent faster than bubble sort, but inferior to insertion sort, which we shall discuss in our next lecture. The total number of comparisons required is almost same for both bubble sorting and selection sorting. However, the total number of exchanges required in the average case is very low for selection sorting. Thus, in the average case, selection sort is much more efficient than bubble sorting algorithm. Though the best case bubble sort outperforms better say for sorting an already sorted array. Time complexity. One interesting observation is that selection sort always takes almost the same time no matter what the data we give to it. Thus, the best case, worst case and average case are almost the same. The running time of selection sort does not depend on the initial arrangement of the data. The best case for selection sort occurs when the list is already sorted. In this case, the number of swaps is 0, but we still have to compare each item in the list to each other item in the list on each pass through the algorithm. The first time through, we compare the first item in the list to all other items in the list. So, the number of comparisons is n minus 1. The second time through, we compare the second item in the list to the remaining items in the list. So, the number of comparisons is 
n minus 2, it turns out that the total number of comparisons for selection sort in the best case is n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 plus 2 plus 1. This equation simplifies to n into n minus 1 by 2 which is order n square. Thus, even in the best case selection sort requires order n scales comparisons. The worst case for selection sort occurs when the list is sorted in reverse order. In this case, we perform one swap on each pass through the algorithm. So, the number of swaps is n, the number of comparisons is same as in best case which is order n square. The average case requires the same number of comparisons order n square and roughly n by 2 swaps thus the number of swaps in the average case is order n. Thus, the overall algorithm complexity is order n square for all the cases. The fact that selection sort requires n minus 1 number of swaps at the most makes it very efficient in situations when write operation is significantly more expensive than read operation. Space complexity Selection sort is an in place algorithm which means that no more than constant space is required to perform the operation. Thus, the space complexity is order 1. Stability Selection sort is not stable because the order of occurrence of the same key is hard to maintain after swap. Stable means that when more than one element has the same sort key, they will appear in the sorted output in the order that they appear in the input. The problem is that selection sort swaps elements from the front of the array into the spot vacated by the minimum element which can mess up the sorted order. For example, suppose we are sorting items containing two values, the items will be sorted based on first value. Selection sort first swaps the item 10 to the front by swapping with item 40. But now we find that the 40 and 41 are out of order from where they started in the sort. Running this to completion leaves the elements in this order and the 4s are thus out of place. In practice, despite the evident brute force approach, selection sort sometimes outperforms the sophisticated applications, such as sorting a relatively small list of huge data structures. This implies that the cost of moving the data dominates the cost of performing comparisons and selection sort is one of the sorting method that performs less data movement during the play. The real question is the speed of comparison versus copying. The time a selection sort will win is when comparison is a lot faster than copying. Just for example, let us assume two fields, a single integer as a key and another megabyte of data attached to it. In such a case, comparisons involve only that single integer, so it is really fast, but copying involves the entire megabyte, so it is almost certainly quite a bit slower. Since the selection sort does a lot of comparisons, but relatively few copies, this sort of situation will favor it. Another example where writing times are crucial is an array stored in flash memory or in EEPROM. There is no other algorithm with lesser data movement. With this, we come to end of today's lecture. Today, we had discussed selection sorting algorithm. Selection sort is a simple but slow algorithm which performs slightly better than bubble sort. The selection sort improves on the bubble sort by making only one exchange for every pass through the list. In order to do this, the algorithm looks for the smallest value as it makes a pass and after completing the pass, places it in the proper location. After the first pass, the smallest item is in the correct place. After the second pass, the next smallest is in the correct place. This process continues and requires n minus 1 passes to sort n items. The total number of comparisons required is almost same for both bubble sort and selection sort. However, the total number of exchanges required in the average case is very low for selection sorting. 
the pros and cons of selection sort are pros simplicity and ease of implementation auxiliary space used is order 1 fewer number of data movements cons very inefficient complexity is order n square for best average and worst case not a stable algorithm thanking you